had to pause to give you a better view of what I am seeing. All these green areas are rice fields. All of these green areas are rice fields. Some are active, or some are active. Like this one right here, it's not planted yet. While those over there are being prepared for planting. But anyway, uh, my morning walk <laughs> It's uh, 8 o'clock in the morning, well 9 o'clock in the morning The sun comes up here at 5.30 Between 5.30 and 6 o'clock And by 5.30, 6 o'clock in the evening it's getting dark already 6.30, it's dark. <coughs> you notice there's no dust in the air. Because wherever you go, you see this green. They don't burn the grass at the end of the rainy season or because this, this grass helps to keep the dust down keeps the sand in the earth but you can't change the culture of Africa in a, in a day so we have to learn to do these things have to learn to work with the earth instead of taking from it without that it's called a carabao and they use this animal right here to plow the rice fields see how quietly he is sitting inside the water it's not as big as a buffalo a water buffalo in Africa but has the strength but normally it doesn't attack people, it just works with you. Anyway, we're talking about people who want to make Africa this place where it's perfect and nothing wrong can go Nothing can go wrong, and uh, nobody should say anything about what they find that is not the way it's supposed to be. And, and that's not going to happen, ever. People always. That's how we improve the society. That's how we get new products. Because you find something that is not up to par with the product, and you decide to make the change that you see necessary to improve it. And so, you hear everything about making electric cars today or 
hydrogen powered cars. What do you think? It's because people started complaining about the pollution that diesel powered and gas powered vehicles put out. So they're trying to find a better solution that doesn't poison the people and the earth. So stop complaining about when people say, hey, watch what people say and what they do. Because in Africa they say one thing, yeah. I can't imagine people live in the rice field, you understand? Yeah, me, if, if it rains and it floods in there, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but look at this one compared to this house over here. See, it's like two meters above the rice field. Uh, what? Five years ago, they they, they started building this a little bit over five years ago. They started building in this area along this road after they built the road because this highway is a new highway the, the old one was only like two lanes one and a half lane so they put in two, two lanes actually they they don't have a name for the highway people the local people call it four lane anyway yeah we have to be able to Say, you know what watch these people what they say because you don't you who don't know that Africans love great speeches will feel will get all gung-ho and ready to go and then five ten fifteen years later nothing has happened if you look at the African Union the history of African Union African Union was born long ago they haven't done anything. Oh, well, Malaya water this year. The water. Yeah. And now you got ECOWAS and all these regional governments. How many of them have improved the well-being of the people? Look at what Gabon has done. That's part of, of ECOWAS. The Gabonese leaders were taking all the money and nothing, nobody in ECOWAS there worked. So, if nobody complains, these things will continue. I mean, you can have your opinion. But don't tell me not to say anything about what I see going on because you feel it's making you look bad, look Africa, look bad. No, it's not making Africa look bad. Allowing people to see what happened so they can change it. And in many cases, benefit from it. A lot of people are coming to Africa and making money because of videos they see and say, oh man, I can do it better than that. I got a program that I can improve life. So to those people, say thank you for coming. I hope there are a lot more of us that will come and do it. Like that's what got me to Africa. Because I was I used to be a talker. You know, man, only if Africa could do this. Only if Africa could do that. Then one day money <laughs> say, you know what, put your money where your mouth is. And there's a song about that. And that's what got me to Africa first time in 2010. When my employer was looking for somebody to go to Africa, I volunteered. And after that, it was two, three times a year. Until I finally uh, put all my, not all of my stuff, but put 
quite a bit of my stuff in a container and put my car in that container and join all the others who have come before me to live permanently. So, anyway, have a great day wherever you are. Enjoy your day like I'm enjoying it. Look at these birds. This rice field is being prepared for planting. Just like that one over there is just been planted. This one here is like, I think probably about 30 days, 45 days from harvest. They plant the field staggered. They don't plant all and then when the rainy season ends, no more planning for the next nine months. We gotta teach our farmers how to do this. Anyway, that's it. Peace. Have a great day wherever you are. Stay safe.